baker's dog Fire burning in the hearth and baby is on the rug Don't be foolish man, that tree sounds like hell You might be lord of half the world, but you not own me as well She was a rare thing, fine as a bee's wing So fine a breath of wind might blow her away She is a lost child, she was running wild She says as long as there's no he wouldn't want me any solo. Well, we were camping down in Gower one time. The work was pretty good. Thought we shouldn't wait for the frost. I thought maybe we should. And we were mothering those days, and tempers reached a pitch. Like a fool, I let her run with that rambling itch. And they say she even married once a man named Romany e. Brown. But maybe a gypsy's caravan was too much settling down. And they say her flowers faded now, hot weather and hot booze. Maybe that's just the gist you make the chains that you refuse. She was a rare thing, fine as a bee's wing. So fine as her pollen words can say If I could just taste all of her wildness now If I could hold her in my arms today well, You wouldn't want me any other way So this, uh, this is an Irish air by a guy that I'm friends with, acquainted with, very good guy um, from Ireland, and his father wrote it, and it's called A Longing for Peace. They're from Northern Ireland, so it was about Northern Ireland, but I'm going to apply it to the Ukrainian people because we're all thinking about them, and this is our Irish service, so it's a good, good mix. But I do need my notes. Okay.
Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Thank you. So this is our Irish service, and this year is going to be very, very pub-oriented, so it's not exactly um, a religious message, but um, or a spiritual message, I should say. But uh, it's, it's to have fun, and everything should be taken in jest. Um, the Irish aren't serious about some of the extreme things they sing. Um, and here's Reverend Sandy. John, thank you for, uh, for that lovely introduction. So who knows what we're about to experience uh, this morning in, in such a wonderful uh, time of sharing in music. And we know that music is so intrinsic to us as, as human beings from the origination of the drumbeat of our heart to the wind whistling in the trees, to the birds that sing, and the evolution of music throughout all time that has spoken to our hearts in a way of being able to express ourselves. And so on this Sunday when we're celebrating uh, St. Patrick's Day and the, I, the music of the Irish people, it'll be a wonderful service with um, special music. And so I invite you to enjoy and relax into and tap your feet and clap your hands and, and enjoy this morning. So welcome to all of you who are here at Unity of Michiana. And welcome to all of you who are joining us via our live stream service. Unity of Michiana is a heart-centered, multi-generational, and diverse spiritual community dedicated to teaching and practicing a positive life approach in our spiritual journey. And our vision is a world united in loving acceptance, celebrating inclusivity, harmony, prosperity, and awakened consciousness. So thank you to all of you who are joining us through this wonderful technology of the internet, and know that together we blend, we connect beyond that which is just the physical. We know that we are all one, and so it's great to have you with us. And here at Unity, in that consciousness, of the Christ, of that higher presence within us all. We start our service by lighting our Christ candle, and then we'll move into our opening prayer. I invite you just to breathe into this now moment to allow a shift from the focus in our outer world and the busyness and all the things that can distract us, letting each breath take us into the heart of our being, into that spiritual awareness of our oneness with infinite being. And with each breath, as we continue to relax and to let go, to become centered and, and open and receptive. We recognize that this is a gift that we give to ourselves of this time apart, of this time to be uplifted and renewed, to be infilled, to expand in consciousness and to connect with others of like mind. And so we give thanks in celebration of this day, and of this opportunity to be with each other, to experience the joy of music touching our soul, to be willing to receive the gift, the infinite gift of loving spirit everywhere present. And so together we pray and hold this in our consciousness, in divine pure being, and so it is. Amen. And now I would ask our youth to bring forward the prayer box. Patty, would you have? Yeah. Natalie, could you go back? Thank you. 
And so Natalie has brought our prayer box forward for us for meditation later. And right now, we'll just take a moment to rub our hands together in recognition of, you know, don't you feel that spirit moving within? It's like it, 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 it gets us in alignment with each other. And then we let that energy just flow forth to surround Natalie and our youth who are not here today and our youth around the world. And we say, we see you filled with the light of God. We see you filled with the purple light. And we hold you in our hearts with love. And we hold you in our hearts with love. Okay, sweetie, go ahead and have a wonderful, wonderful time. It's the purple light of God. It is. There's the purple thing <laughs> our happening. Our blue or... Yeah. <laughs> and, and so uh, let's enjoy some extra wonderful uh, Irish music as I turn it over to uh, Kevin and to John. No, no, no. But my point is yeah. we're trying to play what is pub music in a church setting, so it's difficult. So I want you to try to think in the spirit of when you remember singing at the top of your lungs Bohemian Rhapsody or Louie Louie for other people from other generations, whatever <laughs> it was you did in college, oh, maybe with a beer or seven. Um, now, the... The, the songs we're singing are typical Irish um, pub songs or, or folk songs, and they have choruses, and when the Irish people hear them, they all know that we all sing on the chorus. Um, and Sue has put up the words for the choruses, and they tend to happen after every verse. These are stories, basically. So... In a neat little town they call Belfast, apprentice to a trade I was bound. And many an hour of sweet happiness I have spent in this neat little town. A sad misfortune came over me, which caused me to stray from the land. Far away from my friends and relations, portrayed by the black velvet band. Everyone now, her eyes they shone like diamonds. I thought her the queen of the land. Her hair hung over her shoulders, tied up with a black velvet band. Well, I took a stroll down Broadway, meaning not long for to stay. When who should I know that this pretty fair maid came traipsing along the Broadway highway? She was both fair and handsome. Her neck it was just like a swan's. Hey! And her hair was over her shoulders, tied up with the black velvet band. Scream! Her was a like diamonds. I called her the queen of land. Shoulders tied up with the black velvet band. Well, I took a stroll with this pretty fair maid, and the gentleman passing us by. Well, she knew the being, the doing of him by the look in his roguish black eye. Gold watch she took from his pocket and placed it right into my hand. And the very first thing I said was, that's as to the black velvet band. Hey! Her eyes, they shone like diamonds. I thought her the queen of the land. And her hair hung over her shoulders, tied up with the black velvet band. Well, I took a stroll down Broadway, meaning not long for to stay. When who should I go with this pretty fair maid came traipsing along the highway? First, what a shone like diamonds, I thought her the queen of land. And her hair hung over her shoulders, wrapped up with the diamond band. Before the judge and jury, next morning I had to obey. This is proven clear. We'll give you seven years penal servitude to be spent far away from the land. Far away from your friends and companions, betrayed by the red bell. 
I'm too excited. <laughs> All right. So uh, on this one, I mean, you're, of course, always welcome to sing along, but the most important part of this one is the, uh, is the clapping pattern during the chorus. Um, so we'll, we'll run it once so you know what's, what's happening here. Um, so the chorus is, um, and it's no name never. One, two, three, four, four claps. No name never, no more. Two claps. Will I play the wild over? One clap. No never, no more. So it's four and two and one, or, or clap once, four times, once, twice, once, once. So. All right. We have, you know, in, in the pubs we have to simplify it because a lot of people yeah, have been drinking for a while. Those so. people at home to clap right along with us. Yes, please. I want, I want to hear you from, uh, yeah. from wherever you are. Oh, I've been the wild rover. For many years And I spent all the money on whiskey and beer But now I'm returning with gold and great storm And I never will play the Wild Rover no more And it's no day never for No day never no more Alehouse I used to frequent And I told the landlady the money was spent I asked her for credit She answered me then Such custom as yours I could have any day And it's no name never No name never Give us one, John. I produce from my pockets ten sovereigns bright and watch the landlady's eyes open wide with delight. Said I have whiskeys and wines are the best And those words that I said, sir, were only in jest And it's no man never No man never no more Will I play the wild rover No never no more We're going to bring it down a little bit you gotta have these nice, soft, sweet, sentimental verses in a lot of these old Irish songs. I'll go home to me parents, confess what I've done, and pray that they'll pardon their prodigal son. I and if they caress me as oft times before, sure I never will play a wild rover no more, and it's no day never, no day never no more. When I play the wild rover, no never no more, and it's no day never. Thank you. You're on. Is it my turn again? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. It just brings back so many wonderful memories of the few trips that I personally took to Ireland in uh, 
just how wonderful it was to be with the people and, and with how much uh, just of, of their presence, whether the kids are with them, the families are there, they're all singing, they're clapping their hands. And, and the thing is, you can't hardly listen to this kind of music without tapping your feet, right? And I'm, I'm sitting in my chair and I'm watching and John's over here and while he's playing the pedals of the piano, his other foot is going, you know, and, and Kevin's going with his foot and, and it just brings such a sense of aliveness and engagement. And, and so thank you guys for this wonderful Sunday where we are celebrating uh, the wonder, the wonder of Irish music. And in Unity, we have a inspirational publication that has a special message for each day of the year, and uh, it's called our Daily Word publication. I'm going to ask Paige Barnes if she'll come forward to read that for us. Good morning, everybody. Um, yes, so today is Sunday, March 13th, 2020, and the word is light. The light of truth dissolves all darkness. A bird's cheerful song interprets the quiet of the night. This dark sky grows lighter and puffy clouds begin to blow with a beautiful shade of pink. Brilliant rays announce the sun's arrival. The suns peak over the horizon, flooding the new day with light. Light dissolves darkness in my consciousness in a similar way. At a challenging time, my heart responds to the hopeful thought that this too shall pass. Hope grows into faith as my mind opens to divine wisdom that is always mine to claim. Guided by the dawning light of truth, I see the way forward and follow it with confidence. As surely as each new day brings a sunrise, my faith assures me the light of truth will dissolve the darkness of any obstacle I may face. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it, John 1, 5. Paige, thank you so much for sharing Daily Word with us for today. And now I invite you to let that move you into a time of mindfulness, a time of prayer, a time of meditation, and in a recognition of the power of music, of toning, of the energy. I will be starting our meditation by toning our Tibetan singing bowl at that resonance of the heart chakra of love. So just breathe into this time as you begin to relax and let go and be receptive to infinite spirit. And so we rest for a moment in this space of connection to infinite spirit. As we breathe and we relax and we let go. And we feel the harmony of that energetic vibration that is a part of all creation. It is the voice of God within us. That is the sound of angels singing. That is the resonance of the voice of people gathering together. And so we let ourselves flow in the dance and the light and the energy of the music that comes from within the heart of our being that connects us to each other, to all things. The flow of our earth, of our planet, 
of the mountains, the rivers, the oceans, the lakes, the streams, of the animals, of the birds in the sky. It connects us one to the other in a flow that we can recognize as the beauty of the light shining in and through and as each one of us. And that is the light of infinite love that is kindled within the heart of our own being and as it is, it shines forth as a blessing out into our world, it shines forth throughout our body, it shines forth as a beautiful dance to connect us one to the other. And so we recognize in our differences that we each bring a unique pattern, a unique element, a unique expression that combines and adds to the whole, like each instrument in a symphony orchestra. Or each person who plays an instrument in a band or quartet. And each note, each musical expression is a part of the infinite dance of our wholeness and our oneness. That we dance together, that we share together. And so we just let our heart feel into the magnificence of this experience of the flow. The flow of spirit as we allow as we are open and as we participate. And we let our own voice within us sing and dance and express. And in that expression, we feel renewed and uplifted, and we feel that divine inspiration that guides us forward into each new day, into what often appears a very challenging world. Yet when we flow from the light, of that energetic resonance of music, of oneness, of the flow of all goodness. We navigate through those obstacles that are seemingly before us, the challenges, and we find our way, and we help each other, lift each other up. We reach out and grateful for that connection. For beyond our differences, we are a wholeness, a oneness. And we celebrate and give thanks. And so we rest for a moment now in a time of silence as we let our own inner music sing its song of healing, of blessing, of renewal. And we know that our own music is joined by the choir of the angelic realm of love, light, energy, of that which is the infinite flow of God.
And so as we let the melody of our own heart, our own spiritual connection to God, as we let that melody, melody resonate through us, we let it flow forth as a blessing out into our world. We take a moment to surround our prayer box that holds within it the prayers that, that request that you have sent forth. And so we let that music light of grace flow in and through these requests. And we take a moment now to speak aloud also the names of people and places that we would especially bless at this time. the people of Ukraine and Russia and our world leaders. Unity Worldwide Ministries and World Headquarters. Unity of Michiana, our board of trustees, our musicians, our technical help. Jim and Mary Lou, Vicki and Evan, Amol and Suzanne, Anne, Dale, Isabel, Richard, Jolene, Melanie. Teresa, Cliff, and so we we feel with each breath that we breathe in and then exhale, and with the intention through the vibration of that spoken word, prayerfully expressed. For we hold all in that light of highest grace and good. And we say thank you, God, for this activity of spirit. And so we pray together. Amen. So that was, uh, I was hoping you could sing along a little more. I, I tried to do it to the melody of the, of holy, holy, holy. But that's an old Irish blessing, very famous. Are you guys familiar with it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So, um, you know the, the, uh, the old um, camp song, Hole in the Bottom of the Sea? Yep. You know that one? Yeah. Okay, this is basically the Irish version of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a few, um, a few verses of this. And then I'm going to ask you all know, for, for suggestions of things that will, well, you'll see where they're placed once we, uh, once we get to that point. 
Um, now, the other important thing about this is when we're singing the chorus, uh, you want to clap along, and it's just you know normal clapping. Uh, but uh, you have to stop. Um, if if it were in a pub setting, if you didn't stop on time, you'd owe us each a drink. But um, I, I'm not. I, we'll have to figure out what the uh, going rate of currency is here, and, and we'll talk after the service. So. Well, you can pay us back some other time. We take rain checks. Rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, oh. You're real bog, the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, oh. Wow. Okay, there's a couple there, so <laughs> somebody keep tabs. All right. So here we go. And in that bog there was a tree, a red tree, a rattling tree. A tree in the bog, the bog down in the valley, yo. Oh, ho, the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, yo. Real bog, the rattling bog, the bog down in the valley, yo. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> y'all are good. There's still, there's still time to get y'all to mess up, though. Okay. And on that tree, there was a limb. A rare limb, a rattling limb. A limb on the tree, in the tree, in the bog, in the bog, down in the valley, yo. Ho, roll the rattling bog, the bog, down in the valley, yo. Real bog, the rattling bog, the bog, down in the valley, yo. Oh, ho, ho, they're real good. So. <laughs> See, in a pub, everybody's been drinking, so, you yeah. know, the, the later in the night you play this, the better it is for you. So try to, f try to focus less. Yeah. <laughs> and on that limb there was a branch, a red branch, a rattling branch. Branch on the limb and limb of the tree and the tree and the bog and the bog down in the valley. Oh, oh, the rattling bog. Take this on the road, it's tight. <laughs> All right. And on that branch there was a twig, a red twig, a rattling twig. We're getting close here. A twig on the branch, the branch and the limb and the limb of the tree and the tree and the bog and the bog down in the valley. Oh, 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 Okay, I almost thought I saw you. Almost, yeah, I saw that, so. All right, all right. Um, and on that twig there was a leaf, a red leaf, a rattling leaf. Start thinking about what might be on the leaf. I'm going to call out to you one syllable or two syllables, please, unless you're trying to throw me for a loop, which, which happens are. often. Which we encourage the, yeah. the rest of the band. Which Leaf happens. of the twig and the tree and the branch of the branch of the limb and the limb of the tree and the tree and the bog and the bog down in the valley. Yo! Who's got one for me? Okay. A bug. Okay. Oh, that's so easy. A classic, but a good one. I had a bug on the leaf. Okay. And on that leaf. There was a bug, a red bug, a chigger bug. Y'all have those up here? Oh, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. They 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 get on the they get on the moss down in down in Florida and the Spanish moss and they yeah. It's a long story. They're they're very itchy. Bug on the leaf and leaf and the twig and the twig and the branch and the branch and the limb and the limb of the tree and the tree and the bug and the bug down in the valley. Oh! Okay, what's on the bug? Anybody? Polka dot. Oh, three. One, two, three, three, four syllables. Three syllables. Polka dots, yeah. Yeah. I know. 
It's early, but <laughs> okay. All right. I've been sluggish all day. Oh, okay. <sighs> it's about when I went to bed. Okay, all right. And on that bug, there were some polka dots. Rare polka dots. Ladybug pattern of polka dots. It's appropriate, right? Polka dots on the bug, and the bug, and the leaf, and the leaf, and the twig, and the twig, and the branch, and the branch, and the limb, and the limb, and the tree, and the tree, and the bog, and the bog, down in the valley. Oh! All right, we'll do a couple more. Anyone? A shamrock, okay. Shamrock on the polka dot. That's a very, very small oh, that's right. shamrock. It's Tiny, tiny. tiny you need a magnifying glass. Yeah, okay. Um. And on those polka dots, there was a shamrock, a rare shamrock, a nanotechnology engineered shamrock. <laughs> shamrock and the polka dots, the polka dots, the bug, the bug, and the leaf, and the leaf, the twig, the twig, and the branch, the branch, and the limb, the limb, and the tree, and the tree, and the bug, and the bug, down in the valley. Oh, 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 Next. You want one for me? Huh? A pint. A pint. Perfect. It's a tiny pint, or else a well balanced one. It's got to be a really, that's a really strong bug and. Uh, the bug's going to swim chamber. in the pint, yeah. Okay, okay. I can't change the order at this point. It's really going to mess me up. All right. Okay. And on that shamrock, there was a pint. A rare pint, a Guinness, Guinness, Guinness pint. Of course. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it has to be. <laughs> Harp is terrible. Pint of the shamrock, the shamrock, the polka dots, the polka dots, the bug, the bug, and the leaf, and the leaf, and the twig, and the twig, and the branch, and the branch, and the limb, and the limb, and the tree, and the tree, and the bog, and the bog, down in the valley. Oh! Down in the valley, All right. Is it over already? Yeah, I got through it. <laughs> I hope it's over. <laughs> this is one of my favorite folk, folk songs of all time. You guys have heard me play it um, as prelude music, probably, so it might seem familiar. But it's nice to have a, a very good singer to do it for me, to sing, the, sing for me. Thanks, John. Seaside. Now mark what followed and what did betide For it being on Christmas morning Out for recreation we went on a tramp And we met Sergeant Napper and Corporal Vamp And a little wee drummer intending to camp For the day being pleasant and charming Good morning, good morning, the sergeant did cry, and the same to you, gentlemen, we did reply, intending no harm, but meant to pass by, for it being on Christmas morning. But says he, fine fellows, if you will enlist, it's ten guineas in gold, I will slip in your fist, and a crown in the bargain for to kick up the dust. 
I drank the king's health in the morning For a soldier he leads a very fine life And he always is blessed with a charming young wife And he pays all his debts without sorrow or strife And always lives pleasant and charming and a soldier, he always is decent and clean In the finest of clothing, he's constantly seen While other poor fellows go dirty and mean And sup on thin gruel in the morning But, says Arthur, I wouldn't be proud of your clothes For you've only the land of them, as I suppose And you dare not change them one night For you know if you do, you'll be flogged in the morning And although that we are single and free We take great delight in our own company And we have no desire, strange faces to see Although the cheer offers a charm And we have no desire to take your advance All hazards and dangers we barter on chance For you would have no scruples for to send us to France Where we would get shot in the morning Oh, now, says the sergeant, I'll have no such chat, and neither will take it from spulpin or brat. For if you insult me with one other word, I'll cut off your heads in the morning. And then Arthur and I, we soon to our hearts, and we scarce gave them time to draw their own blades. When a trusty shillelagh came over their heads, and bade them take that as fair warning. And their own rusty rapiers we'd hung by their side. We flung them as far as we could in the tide. Now take out them devils, cried Arthur McBride, and temper their wretch in the morning. And the lee little drummer we flattened his pow. And we made a football of his rowdy dodo, threw it in the tide for to rock and to roll, and bad it to tear just returning. And we, having no money, paid them off in cracks, and we paid no respect to their two bloody backs, for we lathered them there like a pair of wet sacks. Left them for dead in the morning And so to conclude on our finished disputes We obligingly asked if they wanted recruits For we were the lads who would give them hard clothes And bid them look sharp in the morning Cousin one Arthur McBride As we went to walk him down by the seaside Now mark what followed and what did betide For it began on Christmas morning Thank you.
Oh, Kevin, John, thank you so much from, from rousing Ratlin Bog <laughs> to such a beautiful uh, ballad and a folk song, and thank, thank you. you. Oh, goodness. In honor of Irish music and of its tradition and how it touches us all and has how music has touched us throughout the centuries, and of course in honor of uh, St. Patrick's Day coming up uh, later on this week, my talk title for today is Irish Music, A Gift for the Soul. A Gift for the Soul. And throughout the centuries, music has been an integral part of humanity. In its evolution over time, it is what helped people connect to their own spirituality, to, to God, to a higher power, to source. So many things in the Bible speak of singing, praising God. Actually, in Scripture from Ephesians 5, 18b through 19, it says, Be filled with the Spirit, speaking to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making, making melody with your hearts to the Lord. And in 2 Chronicles 5, 13, it says, The trumpeters and musicians joined in unison to give praise and thanks to the Lord. Accompanied by trumpets, cymbals, and other instruments, the singers raised their voices in praise to the Lord and sang. And, and so in the stories from the Bible, which comes from the heart of the people and the consciousness of the people, we recognize how important it is to touch into that place where we are so deeply inspired. And, and to recognize that over time, the words of the songs and, and the situations that people have traversed through, humanity has traveled, tell the stories from laughter to tears. They tell us of the journeys that humanity has made. Um, Alexandra S. McKeever, uh, who uh, works for the Center for Folk Life, uh, and cultural heritage, she says, folk music is often a form of oral history, retelling the stories of families, communities, and generations. For diasporic communities, those that kept moving or had to move or who were transported somewhere else, though these songs serve as a reminder of their ancestors' hardship and a way of expressing their heritage. In Ireland, I think they are a reminder of those who left and a way of explaining an important part of Irish history. While these songs are about the Irish experience, the sense of loss, hope, and resilience they express are universal. Are universal, friends. Music is universal for all of us, and it speaks within the heart of our being as we kind of shift out of that left brain thinking and allow the flow and the energy of music to touch us to inspire us, to lift us up. And, and we can so very much appreciate the trials and the tribulations from the religious strife and wars that Ireland experienced to the famines, to the diaspora where they moved. They, they migrated. There were more people in America than there were in Ireland at one point. And, and it is because... As they left their country, they knew they were not coming back. And the people sang songs to say goodbye. They sang songs to remind them of their heritage, to hold everyone in their hearts. And, and, and throughout the religious wars where they were stifled and could not express in any other way, they could sing. And even if they couldn't sing, they could tap their feet. And so we can appreciate around St. Patrick's Day and in honor of the Irish heritage, a people that kept alive the spirit, the spirit of the presence of, of divine pure being or the allness or the connection to each other alive through the songs that they sang and the cheer with which they express, recognizing also that there is often tears and grief that we can move through through our music. 
And so as we take a look at uh, and as we experience Irish music today, I just invite you to open your heart to whatever you begin to experience and feel and, and, and clap our hands and yet also feel those little places that tug at our heartstrings because they are the stories of people. And throughout history, through folk songs, through country western music, through bluegrass, through African-American spirituals and gospel music, through rock and roll, through jazz. We have all expressed ourselves in various ways, and it is how we communicate and connect to each other. So in speaking about the emigration of, of the Irish, I'd like to share something from, uh, it, it's a website, Leaving Cert Music Weebly. Thank you. Immigration resulted in large populations of Irish descent in areas of North America, such as Boston, New York, and Chicago. The majority of those who immigrated from Ireland to America in the 18th century settled in the Appalachian Mountains. They brought with them a rich tradition of song and dance tunes, which uh, merged with the music of other settlers in those mountains including European, British, and African, to become Appalachian old-time music. American country music originated in Appalachian music, and there were links, other links, to bluegrass and rock and roll. So friends, you know, we, we don't always understand the importance and the magnificence of the gift that Irish music brought here to our country. We forget that, that the roots of, of where our country western and where our rock and roll, and friends, believe it or not, even where our rap and hip-hop today has evolved too, come from the stories, come from the music that was shared, because rap is a story. We recognize how important music is in being able to share our common stories. So we're grateful to be able to uh, appreciate this wonderful gift to our souls of this music today and to recognize that music is the universal language of both laughter and tears that heals, inspires, and connects humanity. And so how blessed we are to have such wonderful musicians to share the Irish um, heritage and tradition with us today. And to recognize also the healing power of music, how it inspires us, how it allows us to grieve, how it allows us to connect, and how it literally helps to rewire the neural pathways in our brains in order to ah, settle in and, and, and experience greater healing. So um, Sheila Morgan, who is a, who has a Dr. Sheila Morgan, she has um, a PhD in health psychology. And she says, across the history of time, music has been used in all cultures for healing and medicine. Even the Tibetans, with their singing bowl and the resonance and the tones of certain singing bowls, use that for healing. Many people use chanting. Some people come together to do healings um, by laying on of hands and singing together. Every culture has found the importance of creating and listening to music. Even Hippocrates believed music was deeply intertwined with the medical arts. Music therapy is an established form now of therapy to help individuals address physical, emotional, cognitive, and social needs. So friends, it's wonderful today to experience the healing, the presence, the spiritual uplifting, the fun, the laughter, the stories that are shared as we receive the gift and experience this am amazing time of, of hearing Irish ballads and folk songs and, and clapping our hands and being a part of that. And so in closing for myself today, I want to share 
a quote by Berthold Auerbach, who was a German poet, and he says, Music washes away from the soul the dust of everyday life. So friends, as uh, we uh, later on, uh, before we close out, uh, John and Kevin will be playing some more music, and I invite you to let that just stir within your soul and, and carry you into a place of healing, into a place of openness, into a place of connection. And, and I hope those of you at home are clapping. Uh, I, I was going to say clapping your feet and stomping your hands. So um, however you're doing it is, is just great to, to engage in this wonderful time. So uh, I just have a couple of uh, very quick announcements. Um, the Wednesday Zoom gathering group, we, we gather together uh, by, via Zoom link, and we come to engage in, in conversation and to discuss uh, meditations that uh, are out of a book that, that kind of lead us into a, a deeper um, time of sharing and of connecting with each other. We uh, take time to do a mindfulness meditation through some music. So we invite all of you to attend and, ha- and, and, and invite your friends to come and join us through that Zoom link where we can gather together and where we can be uplifted and find ways to journey through the, the challenges of our everyday lives. And, and lastly, we'd just like to share um, in an updated mask mask policy that at this point we just invite those of you who do attend in person to wear a mask at your own discretion or not your choicefulness while you're inside the building and as always we do continue to request that you ask before hugging another person and of course we request that you please stay at home if you do not feel well so as we continue to journey for Forth in these um, interesting times. It, it is always a discovery, a new discovery each day of, of how we connect with each other in ways that are safe and healthy. And so at this time, um, I would like to invite you to join with me in a consciousness of abundance in a time of sharing our love offering. Whether you go to our website at uh, unitymichiana.org or whether you have on your phone, our, our, webs, our um, Unity of Michiana app. You can go and, and uh, leave a donation there, or those of you in the room, there's a love offering basket in the back. But as we just take a moment to recognize God as source, and that this gift that we give supports, is the sole support of Unity of Michiana, and it is founded, founded in the presence of God and in the all-sufficiency of that consciousness. And so we just hold that in our hands, figuratively, or if you're holding it uh, literally, and we bless it with our affirmation, uh, our our, um, prosperity affirmation. With a grateful heart, I celebrate God's abundance as I give freely and receive with joy. And so we give thanks for these gifts that are given in an understanding in the joy of of giving and of participating and being part of the natural flow of our universe in God's all-sufficiency. We celebrate this abundance and we say thank you. And so it is. Amen. So, John, are we going to do some more Irish music? We're going to do Peace on Earth and then we'll go into Irish music. Okay. We're gonna play peace on earth. Okay. It's gonna be pretty Irishy. <laughs> okay. So let's see how it goes. Around. If God 
Wanted authentic, right? And that was pretty much like doing a doing a song for the first time at a session. So it's yeah, got its rough spots. So hey, it's perfect. It's uh, authentic. A, a beginner's abs- session. Absolutely. <laughs> if any of you have traveled to Ireland or even the pubs here, and and you know, it's it, the whole tradition of Irish music is not that it's learned, you know, off of a piece of paper. It's a tradition that's passed down in the words, and then and you play with each other, and 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 you. Pick it up and and you just go with the flow and, and it's so fun in the pubs because everybody will kind of jump in and they're doing who knows what and it's fabulous it's fabulous so let's uh, close with our prayer for protection the light of God surrounds us the love of God enfolds us the power of God protects us and the presence of God watches over us wherever we are God is. And all is well. And so it is. And thanks, everyone, for joining us. I think we're going to have a little bit more um, music. We're going to do a little real set. There we go. So enjoy at home. Love and blessings to you all. Thank you.